taxpayer watchdog group White Coast White Coat Waste. Say say that ten times fast. Says they've obtained documents showing the National Institute on Drug Abuse, which is part of the National Institutes of Health or the NIH, ran two experiments from 2020 and 2021 involving beagle puppies. These puppies were reportedly dosed with cocaine again and again for months, along with an experimental compound to see how the two drugs interacted. And the experiments cost 2.3 million dollars. This according to documents obtained by White Coat Waste through the Freedom of Information Act. What in the world is going on with these experiments with uh, on beagles and puppies? I mean, I'm, I, I, I it just seems what in the world is going on here? I mean, yeah. this is just so heartbreaking. Cruelty. Yeah. And giving, Horrible cruelty. And giving cocaine to beagles, to rats, to mice, uh, to all sorts of animals through experiments is something that they've done. Uh, for for decades now, and to to what end? Like I so you do uh, you know so the ar the argument of course is they need to test whether or not the this whatever drug it was they're uh, testing it up against interacts in a negative way with cocaine so that they can warn people ahead, not to take uh, cocaine not take cocaine. <laughs> but what 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 a lot of opponents who 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 don't 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 take the moral. Uh, I, ver version of this is just awful and shouldn't be done. They say pragmatically, we know we know enough kind of about brain chemistry and biology that we can figure this stuff out without doing this, and that a lot of this is just box checking. Mm -hmm. That in order to you know qualify through particular steps, you have to have done a particular animal experiment, even if you can determine what you need to learn through some other avenue, and that. That to me is is one of the cruelest parts of this stuff. Is it in it if it is actually completely unnecessary? So yeah. that, then that's setting aside all of the cruelty and everything yeah. else. It might even be completely pointless. I, I'm I'm going to say something that's probably controversial. Why don't we just test it on humans? And like animals can't consent to be <laughs> tested on, but I'm sure somebody right. be like, yeah, I'll take cocaine and drugs. Give me, give me well, I don't know, ten thousand I mean, dollars or they something. Might, they might die. Well, yes, they're cho but and, and we shouldn't do it on anyone without their permission. But do a dog can't if you buy like consent, the theory right. of consent. That become, a human being can uh, can just agree to if do you, it. If you combine that with our levels of poverty, uh, that becomes quite dystopian because you already have people who are surviving by selling their plasma. Mm -hmm. uh, now you would be setting up a situation where people, in order to make ends meet, would be routinely putting their lives and health at at risk in ways that would end up getting them killed. I mean, they already do that. Yeah, right, but not, but not like, here, we'll give you $50 if you, uh, you know, if, if you electrocute yourself while high on cocaine and see if you die. I don't know, Kim, what do you? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, look, I, I'm totally against all of this animal testing. I don't like any of it whatsoever. I understand that there are these boxes that they have to check before they can go through FDA approval process. You know, they have to say, oh, did you do your experiments on animals? and and which animals and for how long and how did it turn out and whatnot. But I, I, I see what Robbie is saying. You know, I, definitely a human could at least consent, an animal can't. I, I go through this myself with my own pets. I think about, you know, what if they were to get cancer? Would I actually put them through cancer treatments and whatnot when they don't even know what's happening to them and they can't consent to it and I can't explain to them, I'm sorry, I'm poisoning you, but it's for your own good, I promise, right? I mean, I, I can't have that conversation with my dog. But you can have that conversation with a person and you say, look, this might not be good. There's all these side effects to these treatments, but it's for your own good eventually. We do that when it comes to medical treatment. Um, I, but I also see your point, Ryan. I see that then there would be a lot of desperate people. I and mean, when we see this in Africa, for example, the reports that we're getting out of Africa for vaccine hesitancy when it comes to COVID vaccines is they say, look, you guys experiment on us a lot um, for money. You know, governments over there will take a large amount of money and, and allow their population to be experimented on. And that has caused a lot of hesitancy just with pharmaceuticals in general. And so, you know, I get it like that. That's also a big problem when poverty drives this kind of um, inhumane and unethical experimentation, but it's certainly inhumane and unethical to do it on unconsenting animals. Uh, you, you know, and, and the fact, I, I think what's happening here is, you know, they're bringing up the puppies. We know that there's other animals that they're experimenting on, but all of us feel, you know, the three of us all have a dog. And so we feel extra, like, it's one thing when you find out they're doing it on rats, 
even if even when they're experimenting on monkeys, we're not so emotionally connected. But with a dog, you know, and then they say beagles and we're just sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, because we we know how how what, what it's like having a family member like this well, in do, our dogs lives. are dogs are man's best friend the the, the dog the dog as an animal is you know has been raised and socialized alongside human beings we have this long connection to the animal. i think it's maybe it, i don't think it's arbitrary to te to treat dogs as different and distinct from most other animals um, and, and then also we, I mean, intelligence is a kind of proxy for, you know, like experiments on dolphins would seem very unethical or experiments on the smart, the more sophisticated, intelligent, uh, emotional uh, the animals are, I think the, the, the more uh, they're, they're suffering or the, the more horrified we should be at their suffering. I mean, it's not well, you step on I mean, a caterpillar. It's not right. It's not the same. I... I don't, I don't kill bugs either. I don't like. I mean, I'm not well, a vegetarian. I should be. I, I ethically keep wanting to be one. Believe me. But, but still, I, I mean, I don't think that just because an animal is or, or a person is dumb, then therefore it's okay. You know, like, well, you, you don't know really what's happening to you because you're not fully mentally aware, and so therefore it's fine to put you through pain and torture, right? I mean, it's unethical no matter what if they can yeah. feel. If they can I, feel I think it there's at all. a sliding scale of it a little bit. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a hard thing I to, I don't know. Well, I don't know I why we have to do any of it at all at this no. point in our scientific development. Yeah, I think you could get rid of 90% plus of sure. it if you just flipped the, the, the burden on to the people that are doing the experiment. If in, Instead of the NIH or NIDA saying, you must do some type of animal research as part of this approval process or part of this experiment or as part of this grant that we're giving that the that the researchers had to actively defend why they needed to cause all of this pain and suffering in, and why and why they can't get that information some other way that you could still then ob ob object to the practice of it but you would probably get rid of almost all of it through that but you know that to robbie's uh, go ahead sorry to robbie's point I do think that with the COVID vaccines, they did skip the animal trials and went straight to people. I think that is, I think that did happen. I, I think for that particular one. And so we are. Well, but we didn't, but we data. notably did not do with COVID. We, there's no, there were not human challenge trials. There were not take this vac, uh, take the vaccine and then we're going to expose you to COVID and see how well it works. They did not do that. They just right, they vaccinated in the population in an area where they hoped there was going to be where there was a, an outbreak or they hoped there was going to be an outbreak, right. waited for enough people to get it. They did not deliberately expose anyone to the virus to test the vaccine, which because they I, they were prohibited from doing so, which slowed down authorization of the vaccines. Uh, many people have argued, I've argued that, that it would have been perfectly ethical with people's permission if they consent to it and are compensated for it to give them the vaccine and expose them to the pathogen and, and, and see how they fare. And that would, I mean, obviously don't give it to a 90 year old man, give it to right. someone in peak physical health and, and you know, have, but, uh, but that, that, that the, the potential upside of doing that, again, with the person's cost, not to anyone, not, or with their permission, right. not to anyone uh, surreptitiously, but would, would have been ethical and, and, and the, the good would have outweighed the, the I mean, I, I, I think you, I, I believe in consent. I think if people consent to things, right. the government should not, should not intervene. Yeah, so I mean that's kind of my point is like, look, they they skipped it with that, and it and you know it it's uh, we're we're collecting the data, and so why couldn't they do that for many other types of drugs that they're that the, they're uh, developing? Sci and scientists testing? like health people tend to be very against experimentation on humans and very for experimentation on animals, as far as I can tell. There's well, we like we do a, clinical if, trials. That's that's all experimentation on humans, right? I mean, we're do doing mean? it. Well, that's what yeah. a clinical trial is. Right. So, so I mean, yeah. we're doing it. So it, the, I think the question is, can we then skip the animal trial and go straight to the clinical trial with people without yeah. there being? But, the, but they you, never, you know, but they'll never expose people to diseases to find out if it works. They're like, they are utterly against doing that. So but let's just shoot up beagles with cocaine. Yeah. No. So bad. <laughs> oh, we all feel it well, in our hearts. Maybe they were doped up and they didn't feel anything bad. Maybe, That's like the only consolation on that is they were too high to know anything else. No, I doubt it. Uh, well, tomorrow on Rising, Pew Research Center's Baxter Oliphant will join us to discuss a deep dive on President Biden's approval after his first year in office. And we'll have a rising panel with us to discuss new reporting on how Democrats used more dark money in the 2020 election than the GOP, despite condemning the tactic. 
Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you guys never miss a video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. See you then.